All right, hey guys, this is Dan L. Today we're working on a 2004 Freestar. We got to replace the ball joint in it. And uh, do you say you're gonna replace the tie rod? Tie rod in. Oh, we got to replace the tie rod in, but uh, let me show you what we're working on. All right, we got to pull this whole assembly off here. This hole from here all the way down to where the ball joint is they only sell the assembly for this model and uh you can see the tie rods here you can see it's got some plenty of wear and tear to it i can't really show you how bad oh yeah, yeah the ball joints it's gone <laughs> but uh we were having a problem with these bolts they were they were uh sticking pretty bad so I, I just sprayed them with some of this uh fix it right <laughs> stuff or whatever whatever they call it this has got a bunch of names on it penetrating but uh power blaster well yeah guys let me let me pull some of the support and uh i'll show you a little bit more of this all right give me a few minutes all right guys i'm back I finally got this damn lower arm off with this ball joint assembly off and as you can see she she's gone but I had to struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle on these two bolts and uh and the client he's working on it too he ended up having to cut cut a notch out of the fender well just so he could get to the the bolt to get the one it's this was a son of a bitch guys I had to we had to heat the we had to heat the damn metal with this blowtorch till we got it almost red hot whenever you're using a torch you always want to heat around the bolt you don't want to really heat the bolt you want the metal around the bolt to expand if you heat the the bolt itself the it'll expand into the metal and make it even harder but all right guys i'm going to move to the passenger side now and then pull it all off and hopefully it comes off a lot smoother hold on a second and uh we'll get her opened up to show you hey guys this is dano again uh, i'm just checking back in from working on the 2004 freestar van and uh i got the passenger or I got the driver wheel completely disassembled um, I got the ball joint assembly off y'all saw that in the video um, I started working on the passenger side and I was supposed to check back in and I, I didn't by the time I got done with it it was almost dark and I knew I wasn't gonna get a good video so we'll just call uh, this video or this will be the end of day one video and uh I'm going to go to bed in a little bit, but I'll set tomorrow's video up as day two, show you how far I got. Um, the sway bar was broken on the passenger side, I'll have to replace that too. I, I'll, I'll show you what that takes. I don't think it's that bad on that model. Um, on the ball joint assembly, I got the ball joint undone, I got the, tie, the outer tie rod. I got the, the, let me think, I got the sway bar unhooked, uh, it was broke but I got it unattached, um, I, I have to show you that too, it, it came completely apart, but, uh, but yeah, I think that about covers it right now, um, like I said, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow and I'll start video too. But uh, I think that about covers it. But all right, guys, uh, make sure and subscribe. Um, I will add more ca more car repair videos as I work on them. Um, it all just depends on my clients and you know what what breaks when. Uh, yeah, so make sure to subscribe. Make sure and put any likes if y'all have any questions about the van I'm working on or any other project by all means send me a message leave a comment um, 
Like, tell any friends that, that want to learn or needs help understanding a couple of things we're working on. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to get more projects on. But, alright guys, that's it.